My name is Blake Bjerke. I am a senior technical environment artist at Cyan. Cyan Worlds, we are a video game development studio. We develop uh, point-and-click adventure games. Uh, back in the 90s, we made Mist and Riven. So the work that I do is a kind of a combination approach of an environment artist and a technical artist. So I'm both in the trenches working with the other environment artists, building out the spaces, uh, set dressing, lighting, basically building the environment that you walk through, as well as identifying problems and landmines that we can approach with uh, scripts and utilities and pipelines to basically make the artist's job easier. In a nutshell, my job is basically like setting up a space for a play. It's taking the building out the structure and the props and laying everything out and set dressing it and lighting it, creating a space that you'll basically walk through as a, uh, as a player in a game in a, on a 2D screen or in a, a VR experience. If you're an artist in the game industry, there's multiple ways you can utilize your skill set. You can become a concept artist or an environment artist, a character artist or even a technical artist. There is just so many ways you can utilize your skills. As long as you can find a, a niche to fill, you can basically use these skills in wildly different ways. Our industry changes so rapidly that this information becomes quickly outdated and education can only get you so far. Whereas there's a wealth of knowledge on YouTube and uh, just online resources and tutorials that you can basically teach yourself. The thing that education provides is it gives you a space to work with other like-minded people. But as far as the education goes, you really don't need a formal education for this at all. The uh, artists are always gonna be needed in the development process, as well as technical artists, which are more of a niche role, but they are also widely respected when you, uh, when you find a company that actually makes use of them. I would have to say uh, challenging but rewarding. It's because the, the game industry is very tough and it's challenging and it's stressful and it can just be downright brutal sometimes, but at the same point, it's also an amazing field. And when you actually produce a work of art that you're really proud of, like a full on game, it, it gets, it's, there's really nothing like it to just watch people playing it for the first time. It's a truly unique and wonderful experience. The thing that keeps me coming back is the opportunity to learn, to keep growing, to basically try and solve problems and just increase my knowledge and also just to create a product that other people get to enjoy. Just when we release a game, you can just watch people play what you put like so much hard work into. It's, uh, it's an amazing experience. It's really unmatched.